Princess Wins of Evelyn Hugo, 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 the book. And today I'm going to tell you my reviews and my thoughts on this book. I finished it the other night and I could not wait to film this video. I've been excited to film it, so we're going to get into it. So, um, I'm just going to tell you what the book's about and then we're going to go into my thoughts on the book. There is going to be spoilers in this, so if you're not, you know, do not want to see spoilers, you might need to go to a different video. Definitely. But, um, so this book is about a writer whose name is Monique and she works at this place called The Vibrant. I think it's called Vibrant. And she, basically, there is a famous actress who is very old at this point and asks for her by name to write an article about her in the book. Well, once she gets to her house and meets her, she realizes there's something else behind this. Like, uh, Evelyn doesn't do anything, Evelyn the actress, doesn't do anything without reason or cause behind it, basically. She has a purpose for everything. She's a businesswoman. I don't know if it's a businesswoman, but she's a very resourceful person, a very, she knows how she wants to get something and she gets it, basically. She does whatever she has to do. So when she gets there, she starts interviewing her and then Evelyn tells her that she is not going to do an article for the mag for the thing, the place that she works for, but she wants Monique to write a biography on her life, but only publish it after she is dead. And Monique is like, what? And then she agrees to it, but she ends up telling her about her, basically her seven marriages and why she wants her to write this. And in the end of this book, I cried several times, the ending chapters. And then towards the end of it, when it, with the reason why Evelyn wanted her to write it, I definitely saw coming. I definitely saw coming. Like I had a, when I read that part of the book, I was definitely like, yeah, that's probably what, why. And so it was a little bit predictable in the sense that I saw that coming. But it was still, you end up loving the characters and you end up loving, um, there's another character called Harry in the book, and this is someone that Evelyn um, is, you know, worked with, that she ends up develop, developing, like, a family relationship with, and they end up marrying and having a kid, even though they are not in love, like, they're, in, they love each other, like, family, but they don't love each other in, like, a, you know, relationship-wise, but they do this so that in the time period that they were at, they could both be with the people they loved, basically. And they came up with this plan, and then they both wanted a child, so they ended up having a child together. And it is just, it is a good book. There's a lot of things in this, though, that are just very deep subject matter. Um, I do feel like the character Celia, which is her girlfriend, um, was kind of frustrating at times because she, I guess she was so young and she was jealous and it was just like, I just want you guys to be together. Like, why do you have to separate at any point in time in the story? And like, it just, your heart broke for Evelyn because a lot of it was, you just didn't understand why it had to be that way. But it was a, a lot like real life. Like in real life, things aren't black and white most of the time there's normally a gray area and that's what I felt about this book but I give this book four stars um I did really like this book towards the end of it I fell in love with the characters it made me cry I loved it um I also I give it four stars because honestly I had a hard time getting into it in the beginning of it was a slow read for me but I thank you guys for watching this um uh, book thoughts video if you want to see more let me know and I will film another one um but thank you guys for watching bye